there's a war on beautiness as well as conservative women right now. If you're beauty and you and you and you're conservative, oh, you're in you're in a um you're in a uh you're in a dark list of you know basically you're not supposed to be in that category. Basically, you know they want to strip you away from that category. Um, you know, as a formal beauty passage yourself, what do you say to women who are you know who who you know who are just trying to uh, be beautiful? Same time to be talented and to have have the looks and have the personality to do a beauty pageant. What do you say to those kind of women who are conservative, but yet they're being they're being bashed right now, being uh they're being totally uh what what's the word I'm looking for? It's um, discrimination as well as harassment and intimidation too as well. What do you say to these women who are actually facing this issue? Go ahead, Michelle. So, I actually wrote an entire article on my blog, which you can find at michellefieldllc.com, on this specific thing, because I had a lot of young women who were contacting me and saying, look, I'm a really strong Christian. How do I balance being a really strong Christian with being in a beauty pageant where we do have to put on makeup and do our hair in order to win? My response in a nutshell, is basically this. God gives us all different platforms to reach the world, to reach our communities, whether it's Boy Scouts or a pageant. Maybe it's your job that you currently have. Maybe it's a dream that he's put in your heart. But I believe that God gives us all very different uh, paths. And what a crown can do is if it is used correctly, a crown can get the word out about a particular thing. So, for example, when I was Mrs. Colorado International, my actual platform was Boy Scouts of America. And we went to the National Council and had it approved that when I wear my Class A or field uniform, that's the tan shirt with all the ribbons and patches, and that's what, when we think right. of a typical Boy Scout uniform, that I could actually wear my sash, Mm -hmm. my rhinestone pretty sparkly sash with it. And that was my way of getting the word out about Boy Scouts. And so many women and young girls today have a message that they're trying to get out there. And this crown is just one way of getting it out there. I also like to remind people, no matter where they are, that Jesus had his critics. So if we are to be like Jesus, why are we surprised when we have critics? There are going to be out there, there are going to be people who will say negative things. And if you are in the public eye, you're putting yourself up for that. And you just have to learn that there are people who will say negative things. And we just need to really let it go, put a blessing on them, and keep moving forward. We can't let our lives be dictated by others. Oh, that's a great message because that's exactly what we need right now. 